Kitley joins us now to talk more about this. Kelly, good to have you with us. So first, how early on can children start questioning mm. their body image? And then walk us through some of the ways that parents can teach their kids body positivity. Sure. Good afternoon, Savannah and Joe. So great to see you again and Happy New Year. This is one of my favorite topics because it is never too young to start. Kids age three years old start recognizing and comparing themselves to other people. They recognize they take up space. Um, it is really important as parents because this is where kids get the first impact of observing parents modeling behavior. Are they talking about needing to lose weight? Are they talking about measuring or feeling a certain way in their body? And in my practice, I really try to focus on using a whole health perspective. And what is the messaging that we're sending sons and daughters in, in our home and in the classroom? We really wanna focus on praising other aspects, personality, loving both inside and outside, and certainly modeling what we feel about ourselves and how our kids can observe some of those behaviors. Kelly, one of the things that was on that graphic that our viewers probably just saw up, it specifically said to not put yourself down right there. Don't put yourself down. Why should parents pay particular attention to that? That is a key component because our kids are like sponges, whether mm. they're three to five or teenagers mm. and we don't think they're listening, they're picking up everything. And so if they're hearing us put ourselves down, they may start reflecting and looking at what's wrong with me? What do I need to change? And so I love that even in society, we're changing the language. We're looking at loving our entire body. And someone like Lizzo is a huge advocate mm. of loving everything about who we are. Yeah. Let's talk about, I mean, the benefits then. If you have a positive body image for kids and teens, what are some of the benefits they'll see from that? Increased self-esteem, increased confidence. They'll start loving their self. And that is so important as we start to recognize what is our solid foundation and how we show up in the world. And so it is a total health perspective. And the way we speak to ourselves is contagious in how we interact with others. And certainly if you're noticing that your child is starting to develop any kind of hypersensitivity or focus on food or over-exercising or binge eating or restricting, then please check with the child's pediatrician and seek outside help. Mm, such an important conversation with really, really good advice. They're so important for parents. Licensed clinical social worker Kelly Kitley, thank you so much for being with us on this.